Hellas boys and girls and welcome to this new video. I had around 500 stars when I discovered a PvP method that would change my entire playstyle forever. Back then I was watching a video by Stimpy PvP. he goes by many names, I believe nowadays he only goes by the name Marcel, but I'm unsure. It was a really fun video, I have to admit. It was basically, the concept was that he was playing with an eye tracker. So while he was part PvPing, you could basically see where exactly on the screen he was looking. And immediately I realized that something about his PvP was fundamentally different from my PvP. Basically, whenever I used to PvP, I was just, you know, looking at the enemy and all that. But looking at his PvP style, he was basically looking at his crosshair the entire time to make sure that he was actually properly aimed at his target. This method, which probably 90% of PvPers are aware of nowadays, I named crosshair locking, as in locking your view on the crosshair, you know. It's basically that easy. The way it works is you always look at your crosshair and make sure that your enemy is actually in your crosshair so your crosshair is aimed at your enemy and uh, this is insanely effective you wouldn't believe how effective this is and you know most of the time when there's someone telling you do these three easy steps to instantly improve your pvp style it's pretty obvious that that is not gonna happen Everything you can change about your PvP style needs training and all that. And for this method, I have to admit, this is not really clickbait. Like, back when I figured this out, the first time I started using this, I'm not able to find the recording of that anymore, it was on stream like 2019 or something. But when I first started using that, like the very game I started using that, I instantly became better at PvP. Like instantaneously the second i started using it i just got random combos that i wasn't able to get before it's pretty safe to say that cross locking as i like to call it is insanely effective let's beat this guy and well that's a victory next game i have to admit and well you probably could have guessed it there is obviously a slight downside to cross locking basically while it instantly improves your pvp it is not really that easy to pull off. Obviously, it sounds pretty easy. Just uh, look at your crosshair when aiming at people, and that's how easy it is, right? But um, no, it's not that easy. Maybe that is just me, but I find it really challenging to actually keep being focused on looking at your crosshair when fighting people. Most of the time when I have to fight people, I snap into a kind of little bit stressed mindset. So I'm just a little bit distracted by the stressful situation of having to fight someone, and then I just can really focus on cross lock and most of the time I just forget about it instantly. But if you manage to be concentrated on that for longer periods of time, then this is no problem for you, it's just a problem for me. I can't concentrate on cross lock and for longer periods of time. But I'm working out on that because it's such an OP tactic. I wonder how many comments I'm gonna get from people saying, uh, modern, that is how PvP works. Yeah, everybody knows that. You're just stupid. This is actually my last day before I am going to go on vacation. I will go on vacation to Edinburgh. I've learned that it's pronounced Edinburgh on stream. Edinburgh. Yeah, that's 100%. Edinburgh. 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 For real? Edinburgh. <laughs> As if it's actually pronounced Edinburgh. I don't know why it's pronounced Edinburgh. It's clearly not spelled Edinburgh. And it sounds like a meme. Why would you? No way. Oh my god. I block clutched down there, but they got the hit while falling into the void. So I still got hit off. Okay, that's pretty funny. So yeah, I'll be in Edinburgh for like uh, a couple days. I'll be there from Monday to Friday. Today is Sunday. This was actually insanely stressful since I have to produce a lot of content beforehand. I literally had to stream Friday, Saturday, and I also planned on streaming on Sunday if I wouldn't get enough clips, but I got enough clips, so that's not a problem, to get my stream highlights. So I already produced the stream highlights, and now I'm in the process of producing this video, which is going to be online on Tuesday. Well, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, when you see this, I'll be in Edinburgh. If you're from Edinburgh, then, I don't know, leave a comment and tell me that it's cool there. 
It would have been pretty cool if I would have been able to, you know, give you a little bit of footage from Edinburgh. I'm definitely planning on recording a little bit so you can see that. Maybe I'm going to put it in the stream highlights, maybe in next week's video. We'll see. But if you don't want to miss out on that, then you should definitely subscribe to the channel. If you've watched this far, then probably enjoy the content anyways. So if you're not subscribed yet, you should do that. This is actually not really that big of a deal, but kind of big of a deal since uh, when I was younger, like, up until the age of 17, 18. I would literally go on vacation around the globe to other continents and whatnot. I basically saw the entire world and that like every single holidays, every single time I didn't have to go to school. I basically went around the world, cruise shipping, flying, whatnot. It was insanely annoying. I mean, that sounds weird at first and I sound pretty ungrateful, but think about it this way. School is pretty stressful and I'm just trying to relax from that, but I can't relax because every single time I don't have to go to school, I instantly have to go on some big trip to some faraway country and I have to get up at 6 a.m. and see cool things or something. It's just pretty annoying in my opinion. So when I was 18, I told my parents I don't want to be part of this anymore. Ever since then, I wasn't really much in other countries anymore. So this is pretty cool that I'm on vacation again. It's just kind of stressful with content, you know? <laughs> All right, next game. I literally just had the weirdest interaction with my teammate. Basically, you have to know about my teammate. They have like 2,300 stars, I believe. And we were talking about what maps to queue. And I said, what about orchestra? Can I queue orchestra? Do you like that map? And he goes, uh, I don't know. I haven't played it. Is it fast iron? And I was like, no, it's not fast iron. And can we talk about that for a second? Did the 2,300 star just tell me that they've never played on Oikos? Like, no way. That's like, I almost can't believe that. Leaves me completely shocked. <laughs> oh, yellow seems to have a decent amount of bets. At least it's like, um, I don't know, I believe I have like 19,000 bets, so that's a little more. But 3.5k, that was about it. Uh, that's a little scary. Nowadays, you don't need too many bets in finals anymore to be a threat in bad wars, so 3k bets, that's already something to worry about. Just get that there in my next rush. Okay. We killed each other. They were definitely not too bad, but I also didn't play too well there. I um, <laughs> didn't cross a lock, I have to admit. Happens quite often, sadly. As I mentioned, I'm not really able to focus on that too well. Just pretty sad, considering how OP it is. Here we go. Wait, I got uh, the quest. I remember. Special daily quest. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't know why, but that had kind of a comedic effect. Please do not run, dear sir. That is not too polite of you. All I want for Christmas is you. <laughs> uh, maybe not that, but all I want is to kill you. Please make that possible. Nice. Now they are dead. And you guys are dead too. How did I do that? <laughs> No, the only team that seems to be left is Rat, and I might want to buy tools that are a little bit better since, uh... What is that abomination? <laughs> well, teammate ended up being faster. That's cool. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, then you should probably subscribe to not miss out on the Edinburgh footage next week. <laughs> I hope I keep that in mind, otherwise that's kind of awkward. Anyway, I hope you're gonna have an amazing rest of your day or night, and good bye.